Being out in the cold, especially after the last couple of days, a cup of homemade soup is the best. <laughs> so we are making some homemade chicken noodle soup. Yeah, our recipe of the week is Country Living's Ultimate Chicken Noodle Soup. So let's make it. Yeah, we already uh, got this started because we wanted to get the veggies going here. So Scott, this is a fancy, fancy term and you know what this is called. This is called mirepoix. Yep. It's carrots. And Becky, our producer, chopped it yeah. herself. You know, we wow, I'm, little... I'm really impressed. It's a beautiful job, Becky. Yeah. You, oh, you have choppers for oh, that. Okay. Perfect. So we've already got celery, onion, and carrots in here. Okay, very good. With about a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Yep. And then we're going to put a little garlic oh, in. Oh, that's what I smell. That's what I smell. On the salt yeah. and pepper. So you want to season as you go. All right. Let's see, we got some salt here. Let's see. Got a little swepper. We're gonna get the pepper going. We're gonna get it. Thanks, Sheba. Thanks, Sheba. That's salt? Yep, salt. Just a little bit. How much pepper? Just whatever you think looks good. To taste? Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Perfect. Excellent. All right. So then you're gonna let the veggies kind of soften up a little bit. All right. And um, Becky was kind enough to already get the chicken ready for us to go here. And again, you can go to um, you know you can go to BJ's or Costco and you can get one of the the, the, rotisserie, uh, the rotisserie chickens. chickens. You can cut it up. You can have some of that and you can shred it and you can make a nice soup out of it. That's, I I do, I was telling Becky before, cause that's what, I love doing that. Either get the rotisserie chicken or I'll either roast some chicken breast and then shred it up. And then, cause that way you can control how much seasoning goes on it. All right. All right, so. Is, this, got, ch is this chicken all shredded up? Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. shredded chicken. How'd you do that? She used the hand My mixer. hand mixer. Look at how beautiful this shredded chicken nice is. Nice shredded chicken, isn't it? Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. All right, so we've got our veggies Gorgeous. ready to go here. All right. All right, so um, we're going to add a little bit of white wine. White wine. Dump it off. This is barefoot Chardonnay. Love a good barefoot Chardonnay. Perfect. And this will burn off. So that's that. Got that going on. So yeah. far, we're doing pretty good. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you. It looks and smells delicious. Doesn't it smell so good? I love. Do you like making? Well, do you like eating chicken soup? I like eating chicken soup. I, I don't think this is the first time in my life that I've ever made chicken soup. Really? Oh, seriously, Beck, you've never made chicken soup before? Our producer has never made chicken soup before. I love making chicken soup. I actually like making soup in general. Let me tell you. Especially, oh, in a crock pot, oh, too. Crock you could do it in a crock pot. That works really Perfect. wonderful. That's now, a good idea. When do we put the noodles in? Uh, this is the very last, very last, well, well one of the last things. And they're, they're going to cook in there? Is yep, that what happens? They cook in the broth. Wow, I'm impressed. All right, so do you want to add the chicken stock? Sure. How much? Let's see. It says eight cups of chicken stock, so that's probably both of those. Eight cups. This is uh, 32 ounces. So, Both yeah. boxes. Good job. Thank you. A little chicken stock goes along. Oh, it's, you can smell that wine cooking. Yeah. Right? I, I love it. This is, soup season is the best. Oh, and soup. you can get a lot out of one pot of soup. Yeah, exactly. You can have meals. My friend, um, Leslie, mm -hmm. she made me uh, turkey soup when I was sick oh. a couple of weeks ago. And she dropped it off on the front porch and it was so delicious. Nice. And I had it for like three meals. It was really Well, that's it, it's like nice and economical too because you get a bunch of ingredients, but they're not super expensive. And then you have a ton of meals and you can freeze it too if you don't want to eat the whole thing. Oh my God, this looks amazing. Right? And I'll put that on the side. Scoop it in there. Okay. Oh, right. see, now I get where the the pasta is going to boil in, yeah. in the, uh, there's a lot of liquid in All right, you got a little spoon there? Yeah. You want to just take a little bit and see if it needs, just taste test, taste as you go. See if it needs any more salt or pepper before we put anything else in. Um, 
I, it could use a little more salt. More salt? Yeah. Not, yeah. Okay. 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 A little bit more, more salt pepper. and pepper. A little bit more pepper. Okay. All right, now we're gonna dump some of this shredded chicken in. Okay. What do you think, back half? Three quarters, okay. There we go. There you go. Very good, mix that in. Yum. Beautiful. So when I make chicken soup at home, I'll put like a like a bay leaf in too to add a little bit more flavor. And sometimes I'll put red pepper flakes in to give oh. a little bit of kick. Oh yeah, now mm. we're talking. Mm -hmm. All right, that looks amazing. Yep. And then sometimes it depends. I know a lot of people are watching salt intake, especially it's the beginning of the year, and they're trying to be healthy. So I will cut some of the chicken stock with some water too. I'm okay. gonna put the, the egg noodles in. All of these? And then um, I have also found when I make my own chicken noodle soup at home that if you use um, like Asian rice noodles, that is also delicious because those are gluten free. Now we're just gonna turn it up, let it boil, and how yep. long do we let it cook for, Beth? Can let this simmer for a um, considerable amount of time, and then we do yes, have we do we have, do finished, have finished soup, so um, we can try that. It looks delicious. It's all okay. Right. And the finished product. This feeds so many people. So if you have a big family, this this will go a long way. All right, here we go. Give it a shot. All right, let's see. Hmm. Oh, there is a spoon over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. All right, perfect. Mm. Let's see, do you have this? Here we go. Mm. Again, the recipe of the week is delicious. You can make it at home. Make it at home. Marcy, mm. I know we're talking chicken, but you're talking pickles. Oh, that would be good with this. <laughs> I sure am. Hey, guys, it's all a bunch of bologna anyways. No, we're playing pickleball this morning. We're very excited. We are here at the East Hartford Tennis Club. These fine folks are actually letting me jump in, mix in. We're going to see you right back after this break.